Hello everyone, good day. This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration. One thing that I thrive on is structure. I love to do things a certain way. There's a procedure for me. Now to the to the naked eye, <laughs> I may look very chaotic. Things about me may seem chaotic. And um Maybe to you they are, there are, but there is a method to my madness. Yes, a method to my madness. I have my own structure, and I try to follow it. I was talking to the students the other day. We had an assembly, what we call it a town hall meeting, and things just didn't flow the way we normally organize it. And one thing I said to them, I said this is a good example and and a life lesson because it just goes to show you that even sometimes the best the best made plans do not work. Things do not always work like you planned them. You know, I have my structure, but it doesn't always work. It works for me, but there are times when it doesn't work the way I set it up. So what do you do? You know, I thought about it. I I spoke at a women's summit over the weekend and I had my notebook I had all of my papers in order my notes I had things just laid out perfectly like I wanted it but tell me why <laughs> and it did it didn't just happen Saturday whenever I go to speak I will have my notes and everything just like I wanted and I get up there and it's like I can't even see it it is like I don't follow it verbatim it's I go there and I I, how can I explain it? It depends on the flow of the room and the energy in the room. And that's what I feed off of. My notes are there. My structure is there. But sometimes when I get up there, I go a whole nother direction. But the thing is, the thing is, I know what's in my notes because I studied and I prepared. Now, when I get up there, I may not can see it like I put it. I see it like I know it. And I speak it like it needs to be said. So that's the life lesson as well. Things may not always go like you want. But, or like you think they should go. But when the time comes, because you're ready, because you're prepared, you're able to carry on anyway. And you can go on with a plan B, with an alternate plan, or something different. You know, I believe in plan B. I talk about that all the time. But sometimes even plan B don't work. But when you know what you know, that you know, you can go on that. So be prepared. Be prepared. So when things are out of whack, it's just like um, when I uh, work with the children at church or even, even here where I work at, and they're doing something where they have to memorize and, and let's say a play or whatever, or, or give a speech. I tell them, yeah, you know, I, I, I make sure that they study because I want them to know the, know the material. But when it's time to perform it, or to recite it I tell them if they mess up well this is when they do mess up <laughs> you know while we're practicing not not on stage but while we're practicing I said don't get upset don't get bent out of shape because if you get stuck on verbatim the word for word and you miss a word what's going to happen you're out of step you cannot function you cannot go forward but if you just know the material as opposed to memorizing it there's a difference because if you know it, you can go. What you know, you can go. But if you're stuck on just following, being a robot, you won't flow naturally. You won't do things naturally. And it's not genuine. But when you know, you can go. So remember that. Know your stuff. Study. Prepare. Know what you know. And that will carry you. Knowledge will carry you very far. There's a difference, again, between knowing and memorizing. It's just like the Word of God. Somebody may can, may can quote the Bible from, from Genesis to Revelation. I don't know such a person, but some people can. <laughs> but if you can, there's a difference from, from quote the Scriptures and knowing the, the Scriptures. What good is, is quoting it if you don't know it? If it's not in your heart, if you, if you can't pull on it when you need it, what good is it? So it's good to know. 
so that you can go. Learn who God is. Know who God is. Know who he is. So when you need to call upon the name of Jesus, you know what you're doing. When you need to pull on his scripture, on the words, it will come back to you because you know it. Okay, God bless you. Have a great day. This is Carla Wynix with today's inspiration.